math teachers. Today we are going to learn how to do a coordinate plane in PowerPoint so that you can save time with your graphics. So the first thing I do is insert a table and I want it to just be a negative 10 to positive 10 both horizontally and vertically so I make a 20 by 20. Um, I don't love the look of this. It looks nothing like a coordinate plane. So I go up to the table styles to just select the plain black outline. Um, I see that this is clearly not the right shape. I need it to be square 20 by 20 so that it's, um, so that all of my units are the same size. Sorry, I got sidetracked. The, um, when I try to shrink it down, the, and I go to layout, I see the table size. It's not letting me go down height below 7.1 or width by is 4.56. So I definitely can adjust one of those so that I can get it square and then I can play around from there. If I go to home, it's because the height of the cells is set that way because I have a font, I mean, a size, a font size in there. Um, I don't want to type anything into these boxes. And so um, by doing that, I can get this down to a square and each of these units are now squares so they are um, all congruent in size now i have a square now this is as small as i can make it as is but i will fix that in a moment one more thing i'd like to do is add um, the x-axis and the y-axis and i do that by adding in arrow lines with arrows, if I get it off or not perfectly vertical, I can just adjust the width down to zero. And I like to make it black and I want the weight to be a little heavy so that it's clear where the, um, the y-axis is. Now that is not centered, so I can just highlight both of them and click align. And if I align center, it will move both of them to be perfectly aligned in the middle. I also prefer um, the arrows that have the pointy arrows, not the triangles, but that's total preference. Um, so you can do whatever you like. And then to create my horizontal axis, I'm going to just control uh, C, control V, and then I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees so that I get an x-axis. Then I'll highlight both the grid and the horizontal line and click align again. And this time I want to align it um, middle. And so it'll pop it up and then, whoops, it's easy. I just did that wrong. There we go. And then I can just scooch this over to make it centered. Now I have this, but if you go to try to move something, it'll move them individually. Um, and you can't really resize it as is. So if I control A, it highlights all of the three pieces. And then I can choose save as a picture. It will make this an image. Let's see here where I can put this. Um, I want to do um, let's do this one so you can just see what we're doing here click save and then go to the next slide and click insert picture and that was coordinate plane 2 now we have an image that I can resize and make it small to fit my worksheet or resource or whatever I'm creating. You can add text boxes to add a Y or an X here. Um, and in a later video, I will show you how to graph on the, um, on the coordinate plane. Have a wonderful day.